Hi. Sorry, I didn't see you there. <laughs> Welcome to another John underscore Silva underscore. Uh, what are we doing? Silva decodes. We're answering another question. And this time, Pocket Stash asks, um, I love the color language of Apteris. Everything has almost an uh, op opalescence to it. Uh, how to color like this, Moon 2 Jr., without uh, overdoing it? Or does he pull it off only because he draws mostly zombies and, have trans and they have transparent skin? Um, okay, so... As I said before, or actually, off the video, I mentioned that um, we actually answered this question before, but I'll try to do it differently. Um, the short answer, <laughs> the short, the very short answer is, it's all because of the values. Colors almost become irrelevant depending on the value. Of course, each color has an assigned value to it. We cannot disregard that. But on a very basic and oversimplified manner, uh, all of the beautiful colors that you see around, which I'm actually just going to yoink from here um, and make it make it bigger too. Yeah, look at me. Oh, look at, look at, look at me. All right. Um, let's take that for a moment and... Um, when you look at, yeah, so that is really the short answer to it. When you turn it black and white and you don't see any colors, actually the contrast seems to be quite small. Of course, every time you turn something black and uh, into black and white, um, it's especially in in digital, it's not accurate. It's like a approximation of what you're actually seeing. Um, so as long as you do this, all right. Um, so for example here, I'll do, let's, let's do a little demo then. Shall, shall we? Yes. Shall we? Yes. Um, let's take, like, let's take that. Oh, you know what? I, I'll take Kuloris here too, because you guys probably want to see what I'm color picking here. Um, let's do, uh, let's just do... A very simplified version of this. All right, we have the hair, blah blah blue. I have the back of the neck. There you go. Uh, then you have the hair. All right. So you can actually begin by first um, painting only the figure or whatever it is that I, I think this is a final. Uh, either he adds the the multiple color stuff towards the middle or at the end uh, is what I would assume. So when you're painting, you're actually thinking of like the forms first in a w without any color like affecting it too badly. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna quickly, you know, I'll do it with a soft brush too because it's more forgiving. All right, so you have this, you have the the cool eye here, All right? And once again, you want to just pay attention to the values and not the colors. Um, or in this case, the colors are or the color ah the values of the colors is what I meant to say. So um, so you keep going. Just takes a little bit of patience. All right, the nose. And uh, I'll show you how you can add the colors easily afterwards, uh, or even like halfway through. Um, I'm pretty sure he does a mix of... Um, hmm, let me look at it. You know what, we, when we'll get to it. For now, let me build the values. When we'll get to the colors. Uh, I need to analyze something to make sure whether it's pretty much I need to I need to observe if it's a brush or a layer uh, like a, a layer mode or both. Uh, it's gonna come down to one of the three 
So either just brush, either just a, a layer mode, or a, a combo wombo, combo dombo of the both. Um, and maybe some, maybe even some painting. Uh, I'm just going to do the face, by the way. I'm, I'm going to ignore everything else because it's, 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 it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Um, also, maybe, maybe, maybe the hair too. A little bit. Yeah, just a little bit the hair. All right. Um, but yeah, we'll focus on the face because what you do to the face, you do everywhere else to everything else. Looks like a mix of gradient mapping and curves. I'm pretty sure it wasn't that. Or if it was, like, that's just one more way to do it. Actually, I should be careful with saying with what it is and what it isn't, because I don't... There's just so many ways to do one thing. I don't want to be like, oh, it's definitely this thing. Like, there's just so many ways to do that one thing. I'll, I'll just show you one or two ways to go about it. I'm pretty sure you could do the same with, with curves, yeah. Alright, so I just need to add a little bit more value. We're, we're almost done here. I'm not going to even like paint the eyes whatsoever, because I just want to focus on the cheekbone and nose area uh, to explain what uh, what is going on. Or... You know, how would I, how would I personally go about doing that? Okay, the ear, that's fine. All right, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to real time speed paint here. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do over yonder no not over yonder well what's the what's the over yonder is over there how do you say over here if you were um from texas all right good enough it's good enough i'm gonna i'm just gonna give it some sharper edges with a round brush because uh, it's way too soft but this is more than enough to explain What's about to happen? Um, all right, just around the nose. The nose is definitely clearly darker than everything else. No one in Texas says over yonder. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> that's that's my text impression. <laughs> All right, I think I'm done here. Uh, <laughs> any taxes in chat? Hell yeah, bro! All right, I'm done. Uh, okay, so let's say this uh, this is done. Let's pretend. And one way you can add color to um. There's there there's a multitude ways of 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 achieving this effect. So you make a new layer. Uh, maybe I should bring the layers out. Uh, yeah, I'll put it right here. New layer, set it to the saturation. This is one way to do it. Although I don't know how accurate this is gonna be. Oh, it it must be the. Okay, it's not gonna work with this then. All right, forget about this. Uh, forget about it yet. You see how it like has these multiple colors. I need to. I would need to add um, more color underneath. That's why it's not reading because it's monochromatic. Uh, what we're gonna do is it could be a brush. Set it to color. Let's try that. I'm gonna move this away. Color layer. Um, oh, you know what? I'm trying to do it a little different than on the other video. Uh, let me... Let me add some color variety 
here. Oh, by the way, this is called this tool is called replace color tool. So I can just give it a little like little hue shift so that when the saturation picks up, we can like use it as a as a basis. All right. And then I'm pretty I'm 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 starting to believe that it's a lot to do with the brush setting too. It looks very much like that along with the with the um, color layer. So let's see if this works a little better. Da, 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 da. I need a different brush. Oh, that's that's a that's a nice brush. All right, let's do a combo. Okay, uh, we'll do it differently. We'll do a combo to it. I'm, I don't know if this is how he did it, but I'm using a saturation layer with a soft, like, I'm just trying to give it more saturation in certain areas initially. And then we can go with a with the um, color layer on top. I guess this is the more manual way to do it. Uh, as opposed to like the other video, uh, the other silver silver decodes video we had on this. Um, all right, let's use it as a base. New layer. Uh, now I'm thinking color layer and 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 and. Uh, there's one more step after this, by the way. This is not the end. Color dynamics, hue jitter, saturation jitter. Uh, maybe hue jitter not so much. Maybe just a touch. Uh, brightness doesn't really matter. Purity apply per tip. Uh. Let's try with this first. But I'm inclined to not apply per tip. Wait, is it even changing? I don't think I made the... Hold on, I need to make a new layer. Without color layer. Okay, the, the changes to the brush is too small. Saturation, definitely higher. Uh, let's bring all... All these two. Okay, this is a little better. Let's go a little more crazy. All right. And actually, I can use this brush initially. Let's go even more crazy. All right. Uh, color. And now... Oh, there you go. Okay, there's one more step to this. Or the way I would go about it is... So we'll do one more step. Um, wait, what is... Uh, actually, this brush sucks for it. It's a little too soft. We do need a little bit of granginess. Uh, blah, blah. Okay, I'll just use a different brush. And do the exact same thing we just did with that one. So, color dynamics. Oh, it's already applied. Perfect. Um, and in this case, I would change the apply per tip. So, what, they're, what that really means is you paint one brush stroke and it doesn't change. It changes every time I blah, 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 blah. I like tap in, right? So, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure this is how it was made. All right. Clap it up, boys. We got him. There you go. So, like, I keep tapping until I get, like, a multitude of colors. Uh, or at least this is a pretty good way to replicate. Um, again, if you want to learn an easier way to do this, we have another video. Well, not easier. Different, I should say. A different way to do this... Um, we have another silver decodes for it, but I wanted to see if I could do it different from, from that video. Uh, one thing, I, I don't know if he's doing it on purpose or not, but I'm feeling like some of the colors he's picking is based on like... No, actually, no. Yeah, so... The fact that you mentioned that he's like it's mostly zombies, 
I feel like areas where it usually be would be very flashy, so like red, it's actually blue. So I think, I'm not sure, but I think that that might be on purpose. Where wherever something is like flashy, by the way, there's one more step, one more step to this. But whatever is flashy, he actually goes blue. Whatever is, um, whatever would be more blue would be more flashy because we have all we have several different undertones on our skin. Um, they're very subtle, but you know they're there. Um, so I'm pretty sure he goes around the face and. Whatever, whatever would be normally warm on a living person, he adds cold colors, and whatever, and vice versa. Whatever would be cold colors, he adds warm colors. Like for example, like under the eyes, uh, tends to be usually quite cold. Yeah, which he, which he does have a little bit here, here and there. And then there's one, one more less step to it, which is, uh, I think he goes manually. Um, obviously I could be completely wrong about this whole thing and maybe he's using like some other like pretty, pretty cool methods to it that I'm not aware, of, but this would be a more, um, extensive way to, or a more manual way to achieve the same result. So we're not done yet. So what we're doing here is, uh, when we're turning the image black and white, it's very important that you keep in mind that you're not changing the values too much, because uh, you don't want to you don't want to ruin your your base, right? Um, and then last thing I would do is make a new layer over everything, and I do think he color picks. Oh wait, uh, remove the brush effect. And I do think that whatever he has in there, either either he does it in the middle or towards the end uh, where he... Wait, what the hell? I thought I choose, chose... There you go. He either does it in the middle or towards the end where once he has like a variety of colors, he goes in and starts uh, rendering with them. So... This might be a little much. Which would be... Honestly, it would be what I would do if I were to recreate something like that. Is just take what you already like pre-established and, um, and you smooth it out because it looks quite digital. Here's the thing about... Um, the thing about adjustment layers or effects in general in, pho in Photoshop is the fact that you always want to paint over literally every effect that you make. I mean, if you're painting, of course. Um, so for example, um, you know, what? actually what I'm doing right now, it's pretty much uh, an example of that, where it looks quite digital, right? And then you want to go in manually and give that human love. <laughs> Uh, that's right, everyone. If you if you got an artificial life, give it some love. Give it some human love. Or if you're painting uh, and doing adjustment layers, you know. What's up, Azeroth? How you doing? Uh, so here, you know, just take what already exists, what what we already had set up, and oh, another thing is. Uh, you, if something is too harsh looking, you can glaze over. This is what will give it the translucency that you're kind of mentioning. Is you can go with a soft brush and kind of glazing over, like very subtly, glazing over uh, parts, and that will soften up the. Um, well, it'll soften up the textures and it'll soften up the the look as well. But at this point, it's just a matter of like spending time on this. Right, like I pretty much explained how I would go about doing it. Um, I have a slight feeling he has approached it differently, um, but I think you can still get to the same result uh, like this. It might be a bit more labor intensive, 
But um, it's pretty much like you can also merge. Where where's my layers? Uh, actually, I'm not gonna merge because I'm gonna give you guys the PSD. But yeah, could uh. I think that we would also get a better result if I had spent more time in the building up phase, like this part here. I feel like that could be a we could get a better a better result from it. But yeah, I'm 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 quite happy with how it looks. It's just a matter of like keep going using different brushes, rendering. At this point, it's literally just like taking what you have, render, and keep keeping in mind the values that you had um, that you had pre-established and not not going too far from it, right? And and the the better your base is established, uh, the better the result uh, I think it, you, you would have. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think that is... Oh, of course, uh, everything else in the image affects contrast, affects everything. So the fact that I have a gray background and the hair isn't even done, um, that sort of contrast can help to the look. And, um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to stop here because it's just a matter of rendering at this point. Um, hey! <sighs> So we're pretty much done with answering this um, Silver Decodes question. Um, thank you for asking the question. Other otherwise, this, this segment would never exist. And I'll see you on the next one. Clap it up, boys.